lack of rainfall is severely affecting the lake currently in a drought situation. Yeah, you know that, George. We've talked about it. That's for sure. January brought some much needed rain, Jenny, by the way, but the Army Corps of Engineers says it wasn't nearly enough. News Channel 6's Samantha Williams explains. Lake Strom Thurmond's water level in 2016 was just inches away from the highest it had ever been. 2017 brings a different story. Scott Hyatt, operations manager for Lake Thurmond, says 330 feet is considered full pool for the lake. On Monday, it was down 10 feet. That's not where we want to be. Um, for this time of year, we should be filling up and should be very close to full. Scott Hyatt with the Army Corps of Engineers says this time last year, I would not be able to be standing here. It would have been full of water. Now, flash forward a year, I'm standing on rock and dry soil. If you look behind me at these rocks, you'll see a dark line. That's actually where the water rose and where it was reaching this time last year. It, what's been interesting so far is over the last year, um, compared to the other droughts, we haven't gotten down as quickly as we have gotten down in, um, uh, in this event. There have been three record droughts in the 2000s. Hyatt hopes this year won't make number four. He says we are behind 14 and a half inches of rain. So there's not a good chance of a, of a big rain event coming in to, uh, uh, to refill the lake right now. It could happen. It's happened before, but it's a really long shot. Hyatt says the lake's condition will most likely have an impact on visitors this summer. People are already calling to ask if the lake levels will rise before the temperatures do and if they should make their plans or cancel them. When asked what it will take for Lake Thurman to recover, Hyatt says rain is key. High intensity rain events. So, you know, getting an inch of rain a week for the next month isn't going to do it. Reporting at Lake Thurman, Samantha Williams, WJBF News Channel 6. You know, businesses will also feel the pain if dry weather conditions continue. Sure will. Marinas that rent out slips, boat rental shops, even housing rentals out there lakeside may suffer.